exclusive now the auto industry top brass has met the government on the goods and services tax and has accepted the 28% rate for small cars cnbc tv 18's ron joy banerji joins us now to give us all the exclusive details ron over to you well, Sonia, you know, when last week when the government had announced and disclosed the GST rates uh, and when the finance minister had said that all cars will be brought under, under the 28% uh, net and, and only the luxury vehicles will be attracting assess, it had created some amount of disappointment. In fact, Pavan Goenka was on, uh, was on our channel and said that, you know, uh, you know, currently under the excise duty, remember, small cars, you know, have a certain advantage because cars under 4 meters attract an excise duty of 12%, but anything above 4 meters will attract an excise duty of 24%. So the fact is there is, you know... You, you know, the competitive landscape between a small car and a non-small car, you know, there's actually, you know, quite a gap. But under the proposed GSC regime, it was said that all cars will be brought, on, brought under 28%. Now, what we understand is that yesterday the auto industry had met. They have accepted 28% as the standard rate on cars. Okay, but what they have said is that there should, be, however, be a special dispensation for electric vehicles. So, so, so they basically proposed to the government is that whatever, you know, whatever the GST rate for small cars is, so if it's at 28%, uh, electric vehicles should be taxed at 20%. And, and, and the non-small cars, it could be, you know, it, it could be any car which is, a, which is above four meters, that should attract an excise, uh, excise due, uh, or, or sorry, or a GST rate of 36%. Of course, the higher GST rate is 28%. So what the auto industry wants is that the cess on non-small cars should be at 36% minus 28%. So they are proposing a cess on non-small cars at, at about 8%. One niggling issue for the auto industry, remember, is that what happens to the inventory? If at all GST gets rolled out from the 1st of April, there will be a lot of inventory, a lot, uh, you know, a lot of cars in the stockpile which have paid excise duty. Now, what happens to those cars, uh, you know, when, you know, when GST comes into effect? So these are some of the niggling issues. The, the government assured them that they will be issuing transitory provisions for aligning with the GST. That will be announced in the coming weeks. But clearly, you know, this is important because this is going to, uh, you know, be a big relief for Maruti, a company like Maruti, which, of course, wanted the special competitive advantage that small car gains under the current excise duty regime to remain under the GST regime as well. Back to you.